So I finished my bench program I was doing before. I finished the Ecoy Steroid, which definitely gave me strength, but also made me gain some weight. Now I'm working on a new thing where I'm putting myself in non-optimal environments. So what I did today is I didn't eat. I didn't eat at all. No breakfast, nothing. I haven't eaten since last night. I just went and did a two-hour workout. I wanted to make sure that I could hit a 405 bench with no food in me, no nothing. I went in and I hit it relatively easy. I also got through my whole two hour workout. It was a little bit harder than normal. Of course, it would be expected with no food. But next time, I'm going to try with no sleep. And we're going to see how that affects my workout. I'm going to do two hours on no sleep. Then I'm going to try it in a hotter environment. So basically, I'll wear long johns or something like that. Something that's going to make me sweat really bad. And then I'll go try the two hour workout then. And then I'm going to try something really cold. Winter's coming. So could actually bring my weights outside or something like that. Now, the purpose of this is to show that I have this physical strength and that I'm able to do these exercises and still have this strength in non-optimal environments, which means no matter how cold it is, no matter how hot it is, no matter how much sleep I've had, what I've ate, what I've drank, I know that I'm going to get better lifts and I'm going to be at my strongest with good sleep, good food, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, optimal environments. But if I can still keep my strength levels relatively high, like over 405 on my bench in all these other environments, then I know that my strength is not just because of what I'm eating or because of how I'm sleeping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to keep working out in these non-optimal environments. Today was no food. I got through the workout perfectly. It was fine. I feel good. I do have a little headache, just probably to the lack of eating, not eating, and doing these heavy lifts. Still got in about 20,000 pounds of bench today. So I feel good. I got through the workout on the first day. Next week, we're going to try this with either no sleep or with heat, depending on how I feel on the Sunday beforehand. Might try no sleep. So I'm going to keep doing non-optimal workouts, and we're going to see how this affects me over the next month, maybe two months. If I can get through all these workouts in non-optimal environments, then I can actually say I'm strong no matter what. I wake up three o'clock in the morning. I got this strength. Something happens. There's a zombie apocalypse or whatever. There's no food or I'm still here. Even going to try it with no water, which is dangerous. I wouldn't advise anybody to do that, but no water, which is probably going to be the hardest one. And eh, no sleep might be the hardest one, but no water is going to be really hard, too. So I'm going to try these different environments and different things to see where my strength levels are and to see what happens. And I'll keep you all updated throughout the journey as things go along. Um, once we hit a thousand followers, I'm still going to do the podcast. What I think I'm going to do is me and 80 are going to run a podcast once a week where we maybe review videos or review things on YouTube for like an hour because I mean, I'm kind of funny and my followers like my stuff. So I'm going to do that for like maybe an hour. And then eventually every other week, I'm going to have a guest on. Now, my first guest is probably going to be the Colt. If you guys know him from TikTok. He's the guy that went to prison for murdering the kid who raped his sister when he was 12 years old. He ended up doing a 20 year sentence. He had a hard bit, etc. He's going to be the first person I have. I'm going to have Colin Ray on. I got some people that's in the music industry, actual rapper that was on Bad Boy, etc. People like that. I'm going to try to get them into an interview. So a lot of good stuff coming. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all watch the videos, comment, etc. to keep the algorithm going. We're almost at a thousand. So I'm going to keep you updated on what's going on here. Watch out for the podcast that's coming soon. Merchandise is available on TikTok, etc. Check all that out.